Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10C and we're looking at the very basic function of the DSMS because I think it's something we need to cover. So we've recently done videos covering the navigation of the A10C, the INS, the EGI, the TACAN, the ILS and the radio homing. Next we're going to go and do weapons, lots of weapons videos we're going to do but there's a small step in between that we must make you aware of. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up with a bunch of weapons to do that we press that key there, that action there, communication menu. Communication menu, we're going to go to parent menu, ground crew, rearm and refuel. And we've got it here. So I'm going to load a preset loadout just to make this quick. I'm going to load that up. Request rearming. Copy. And while that loads, I'll skip time. Rearming complete. Okay, so we're armed up. Now, in most jets now or aircraft, you could just take off and go and use these weapons. In the A10C, it's a little bit different, and because of that, it can be frustrating to new guys. So I want to show you, before we can go and use these weapons, we have to update our DSMS, our Digital Stored Management System, so that that understands about the new weapons that we've just put on the plane. Without doing that, we can't do anything with those weapons. So, to do that, we're going to press and hold the STAT, the fourth button here, until we get to our program display and we're going to use our load function here now before we can use it actually we're going to put it down we're going to replace stats down here with the load so that we can access it so we're going to press load we're going to press stat the load is now a usable option on what i call the taskbar on this left mfd so we're now going to click on load and here is our dts load now the various loads we can do we can load information for the tad our tactical awareness display the dsms the weapon system that we talked about the tgp the targeting pod or we could load the page but there's no harm at all we find in just using load all even though in this case all we want to do is load i think the tgp and the dsms in this case and always we're just going to load all so we're going to click load all and now we're going to wait now what you'll notice is that the little stars have disappeared from these guys here that's because they're currently loading we have to now wait a few seconds until those stars appear which will then mean that these systems have been loaded with the new relevant information so stand by for that Okay, we've got our little characters back. So this has been reloaded now. Now we're going to click on our DSMS master mode here. And you can see that it's now been populated with these weapons. If I would have clicked on the DSMS before I'd done the load, these would be unpopulated. It wouldn't know anything about the weapons and therefore we couldn't use the weapons or set them up. Now we've got them loaded here into the DSMS, we can use those weapons and we can also set them up a lot of these weapons need setting up we're not going to go into detail of this because we've got a 12 minute video showing how to set these up in much more detail but just to show you very briefly we could for instance go into information regarding this gbu 12 we could go inventory we could click on our gbu 12 we could click on gbu and gbu 12 and we could change stuff its parameters it's fusing it's laser code it's uh, other fusing here stuff i haven't looked into this so i'm not going to go into it now but just to show that we can change the information for each type of weapon that we've got loaded via that and now the a10 systems know about this and you can go now use and employ those weapons so that's a quick video just showing what you have to do to be able to use your weapons it's something that's frustrated a lot of new pilots so i wanted to make that video i hope that helps and see you later